Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Smart. Today we are going to design the inch tank for having a capacity of 6 lakh liter. Inch tank, uh, this is very simple to design by this spreadsheet. Very quick and precise accurate result. Anyone can design through this spreadsheet by learning how to use it. Right? So in inch tank, we know we have, we have to design the top dome. Top ring beam is there circular wall we have to design this is circular cylindrical wall bottom ring beam we have bottom dome this is the bottom dome right and this is the conical dome conical dome first this is the conical dome and this bottom portion is the bo bottom dome you need to design then you need to design the circular ring beam and the braces are there and columns and finally the raft foundation of the end tank so you need to put your data input data what you have to design the spreadsheet will give you the results as per the accurate formulas inserted in the cells. So you need to find the design constants. Next is the design of top dome, how much the size and the reinforcement is there. Next is the design of the top ring beam. This is the top ring beam will be designed by this spreadsheet. Find the dimension of the ring beam. Next is the tank wall. This is the cylindrical wall we have to design. right? the reinforcement according to the height in the next next sheet this will give you a design of the bottom ring beam this is the bottom ring beam we have to design it by inserting our dimensions it will give the whole result next is the conical dome we have to design finally the spherical bottom slab and the bottom ring beam so let's start firstly we have to design the top dome of this inch tank we need to put our data in these cells and accurate data should be there and accordingly the results will be came out right so i will explain you in detail assume the dia of the water tank for 6 lakh liter we can assume 10 meter 12 meter 14 meter according to your choice right i am assuming the 12 meter dia you need to see this in the actual sheet how much the changes are occurring by inserting the data in these cells so capacity of the tank to be designed is 6 lakh liter six lakh liter fck is uh, for f30 fi is 415 this is fi is 415 m20 m30 and fe 415 take live load is 1.5 km per meter square gamma w is 10 we know all know that the density of the water so in this case capital d we have assumed d naught is the dia of the low, lower ring beam this is the lower ring beam so it's a dia this is 0.6 of t as per the rule right so this comes out 7.2 we will assume 8 meter higher than that h1 is the height of the uh, top dome h1 0.2 into capital d capital d is 12 meter so 2.4 is come out we will choose 2.4 and h2 is the height of the bottom dome and this is 1.6 and we will assume 1.5 height of the conical dome this is the conical dome right this is the conical dome so height of this is h naught we have to assume we will assume as 2 meter right so volume of the tank has been calculated as 600 meter cube because 6, 000, 6 lakh liter is there so the volume will be divided by 1000 this is 600 meter cube and this is the formula what formula is gives like this is the cylindrical volume plus the conical dome volume and minus this bottom dome volume will give you the net volume of the water right so this is the formula and what is r2 r2 is the radius this is already been calculated 6.08 by this formula d naught d naught is the internal dia by 2 whole square plus h2 this is h2 is the height this is 1.5 we have already calculated h naught this is h naught where is h naught h naught is the height of the bottom dome d is capital d is the dia of the total cylindrical this is total cylindrical wall and d naught is the dia of the bottom ring beam right so finally the h has been calculated r2 is been calculated by this formula h has been calculated for the cylindrical portion this this h been calculated as 5 meter uh, 4.25 meter and the round of value is 5 meter right so if you change this value as 10 you can see the h value has been changed by 7 meter so if you change by 14 meter 
the value of h is changed by 3 meter right so in our case 12 meter so accordingly if, if you change the data you will find the different values of h right so next is the design constant we all know that for the design constant m30 sigma cvc value is 10 and sigma st value is 130 right so m is calculated modular ratio k is calculated j is calculated and q is calculated these values will be used later on right so design of top dome we have to design first the top dome top dome is to be designed so we have already done this case in the circular tank case and the same will be there here only so for this meridional force t1 should be calculated by this formula w into r 1 plus cos theta 1 right r1 is this much theta 1 is this much right so you need to calculate the this t1 this is meridian force right so b is 1000 live load we as we have been given live load is 1.5 kN with t the thickness of the top dome is assumed to be 75 mm to 100 mm so we will assume 100 mm right so self weight is been calculated total load is 4 h1 is 2.4 we have already calculated r1 is this formula by this formula r1 radius this r1 is been calculated 8.7 and sin theta 1 is this d by 2 by r1 because sin theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse right so sin theta 1 has been calculated at 0.69 theta 1 is by this formula 43.60 degree theta 1 correct and cos theta 1 been calculated as 0.72 t1 is calculated as 20.18 right by this formula w into r 1 plus cos theta 1 now meridional stress is t1 by b into t b is 1000 t is thickness 100 mm finally 0 0.20 so sigma cc value for direct compression 8 in case of m30 so if we choose 8 the safe and provide the minimum reinforcement right for minimum reinforcement 0.24 percent of b into t been calculated as 240 if you assume 8 mm dia, dia the ast is this much and the reinforcement is 8 mm 200 mm center to center for the hoop tension t2 this is the formula this has been calculated hoop stress is 0 0.05 this is also safe and minimum reinforcement is to be provided 8 mm 200 mm center to center so it has been calculated as provide 8 mm 200 mm center to center for the top dome is being designed next is the top ring beam we have to design the top ring beam this is t1 cos t theta the horizontal force of the meridional force will be acted here so this has been calculated t1 into cos theta 14.62 we have already calculated theta and t1 so total hoop stress been calculated 87 so if we choose um, 12 mm dia so if you choose 12 mm, mm dia so numbers have been calculated we, we will choose six numbers right six numbers 12 mm dia has been calculated you need to find the dimensions sigma ct value you have to choose for m30 is 1.5 1.5 and b we have to assume as 300 m so finally depth is being calculated as this much so you have to assume the depth as same as 300 mm right so 300 by 300 mm stirrup stand 8 mm we will choose and two leg stirrup so this much is the two leg stirrup 8 mm dia 225 mm center to center design of the tank pole we have to find we know that the, from the top to bottom pressure of the water will increase and at the bottom the pressure will be very much so if we choose from the top 1.25 meter that must the est required if you choose 8 mm 8 mm 170 mm center to center for 2.5 meter if you choose 10 mm dia this much is the steel required for this much if we choose 10 mm dia this much is the required and if we choose 12 mm dia this much is the finally the thickness of the wall same sigma ct value you need to just enter the sigma ct value this which you have to take the maximum of the three values this is the formula 200 mm is the thickness and finally is the cantilever action for the bottom for the vertical steel this this is the vertical steel for cantilever action this much is the steel is being calculated if you choose 12 mm dia so 160 mm at both faces will be required right next is the design of the bottom ring beam we have to assume the width and the depth of the bottom ring beam right so width we will assume if we are will assume by 300 by 500 right so we have to check it if it is safe or not it is safe then we will move further 
if you assume that's 400 m right and then it's also safe so you have to assume this much of width and uh, the load from the top dome is t1 sin theta the vertical component of the, this t1 sin theta will put from the vertical component right so bottom ring beam load from the top ring beam b into d into density right b into d of the top ring beam top ring beam 300 mm by 300 mm and density is 25 so this has been calculated load from the wall and wall will be this depth 300 mm and this depth we have assumed 400 mm should be minus from total overall depth that is 5 meter right so finally that this load is calculated on the wall due to the self weight this much is the self weight so finally the load a plus b plus c plus d right this all will be add up and if you assume the beta beta should always be assumed as 45 degree so finally the tan beta has been calculated h1 this horizontal force h1 is the horizontal component is t2 sin beta this is t2 equals to w1 w1 tan of beta right you will see that this is the base base upon perpendicular base upon perpendicular this much is h1 so w1 tan of beta so w1 tan of beta is 40 h2 is gamma w h into d and it will act at the center this is gamma w weight of water h the distance will act as at the center and d is the depth right this much so finally gamma w h into d is calculated total force h is h1 plus h2 so hoop tension each h into d by 2 this much is the hoop tension ast is been calculated t by sigma st sigma st is already calcul calculated 130 assume the bar dia if you assume 20 m dia so 8 so we will assume 10 so this much is 10 numbers so 20 mm 10 numbers are required 300 by 400 is the depth and the size of the this much and check for dimension is right you have to increase the dimension this is showing increase the dia if we increase by 400 right this is increase the dia by 500 and it is safe right so you will assume the final the size is this much according to this because sigma ct is this much 0.84 and according to table 1 this is 1.5 for m30 and now it is safe right so you have to change your data and you will now quickly we will change our data accordingly right if we change the data for 40 meter and you have to design for 10 lakh liter right fck is 30 fy is 415 this is 8.4 you have to assume more than that 9 this is 3 meter we will assume and this one is 2 meter and finally h0 is 2 meter again finally volume is 1000 meter cube and this much is r2 is 6.06 this r2 and h is 5.57 it has been taken as 6 meter right gamma w is 10 these values will be same and finally this is also safe and the 8 8 on the both side is calculated right w t1 cos theta horizontal component will act on this beam Finally, the hoop tension is this much and 12, assume the dia of the bar, 6 is required, 300 by 300, right? So, dimension of the beam is required, design of the tank, you will see the distance will be changed from all the sides at different values. Now, the wall will be divided into 4 parts, so all the values have been changed, finally, and the bottom ring beam. So bottom ring beam 20 10 now 10 numbers are required right 10 numbers are required for the design and now it is safe so friends if in the next video we will design the conical conical dome right this bottom dome and the bottom ring beam right so if you like this video if you want the action sheet please contact me on my whatsapp number please subscribe the channel and thanks for watching